Hey guys, it's Claire, one half of the Ormwoods here in Zone 7B, north of Atlanta, and there's no garden tour this week because Mother Nature forced us to harvest and put up all of the onions we grew for the year. Can you guys hear that? It's rain. It's literally more effing rain. And rain is part of why my onions have now molded and gone rotten. They are squishy and not usable. Look how gross this is. Look, 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 look. That, can you see the rottedness? Barforama, barforama. And let me tell you how much feeling the slimy onion rotted mush. How delightful that is. And my pruners are like, are you kidding me? This is nasty. Are you kidding me? This is nasty. That's what they're saying. We were gonna just throw these in a box with some sand and store them and use them as we needed. That was the plan. That will no longer be the plan. I am going to need to come up with what we're doing, and since I'm peeling off all these peels, we're gonna need to figure it out pretty fast because these onions can only stay viable without their, you know, it's the skin that protects them, right? The truth is we've been harvesting onions all week long. We grew 143 onions. We both work full-time jobs, but we just were able to film this part of it today, and we wanted to share it with you. Hey everybody. Hey guys. So it's uh, Saturday. It's almost been a week since we started this harvesting of the onions. And this is where we've landed. This last bag has not been gone through. And I thought, since it was so awesome, and I enjoyed it so much, that it wasn't fair to deny Dawn the thrill. Pleasure. The thrill of the rotten mushy onions. So I was gonna leave that little last bag for you to do. I have done all of these already, and now we just really have to figure out how to put them up. The bird. The bird. That's the bird, if you're hearing that noise in the background. Um, I will tell you that we dehydrated four pounds. This is four pounds of onions ended up being this many dehydrated onion chips. And they're, pretty, good. they're really good. Yeah. So this might be like a legit way for us to continue to do it because these would be great sprinkled on top of things. This is three pounds of onions and I've caramelized them. And in fact, we're making some French onion soup for today. Um, so three pounds of onions caramelized fills up a little less than half of this size container. Um, so that's seven pounds of onions right here. So it might be easier for us to put them up than what I was originally thinking. Yeah. I just was looking forward to having like fresh onions. I know, it's and fun. that's just not gonna be what happens. You don't want to eat that later? No. So we had um, three summer squash from the garden and I cubed this so that um, we can use a recipe from that ball canning book that we haven't made. It's a pickled squash, and that's going to call for a cup and a half of onions. So one of my goals for one of these onions is to go into that squash. So I swear to you, a regular onion has never really gotten me like this, but these homegrown onions are potent and really, really made it hard for me. Considering how many onions we had to slice, it's safe to say it was a pretty interesting week. Dawn, however, somehow did not get affected by the strength of the onions. We were pretty excited to find this squash recipe because, to be honest with you, we're tired of eating squash. We have had our fill of squash gratins and squash casserole and stewed squashes with onions, and while we think it's delicious and we like squash, you do get sick of it. So finding this recipe to pickle the squash with the onions was something we were both kind of pumped about. We like pickled things, and it'll be a nice change of pace for us.
So here's a great example of, I cut the end off of this and you can see that little bit of yellowing and browning in the middle. So that's another reason why we really need to go through all of these. And at this point, it's gotta happen today just to see if it is salvageable. So if you look there, you can see like the outer ring of the onion just has a little bit of yuck. So some of it in that tip too. This tip is not what you want. But parts of this onion are salvageable. So we can cut around that. So for those of you that are new to pickling, one of the things that you want to keep in mind is you want to use a stick like I'm doing there. That's a piece of bamboo and just pop out any air holes. Also, that jar is really, really hot, so be careful. And you'll notice in this one, I ran out of brine. It's not that big of a deal. I ended up adding some later to the mix. We find that we go through pickled vegetables so quickly that if we put them up and get them in the fridge, we can definitely eat through that long before they would um, have any problems. So I don't really bother water bath canning when we're working in such small doses like this. Don is the much better chopper out of the two of us. He said that he learned his chopping skills when he was living in Athens, Georgia and had a job as a prep cook. Considering how many onions we had to go through, it was really nice having somebody in the kitchen who could get through it because I'm just not fast like that. He also told me a story yesterday that his dad told him when he was in the military, if you got in trouble, they put you on onion chopping duty. <laughs> which I thought was really kind of a funny story. And based on the pain I felt from the fumes of these things, that would definitely be a punishment that would work on me. So you guys, this was a massive, massive weekend of onions, and we really appreciate you <laughs> joining us for the ride. We've certainly learned that um, Next year when we grow our onions, we'll, we'll cure them differently and get them inside. I think we had no idea how much damage could get done from them just drying out while it's raining so much here in Zone 7B. But I thought I would just show you where we landed. Um, this ended up being more caramelized onions, so we'll be eating off this. And I'm gonna put this in muffin tins and freeze it so that we can pull out a little bit at a time. This is, of course, the dehydrated onions that we had. Um, this is just onion rings that we pickled because we do enjoy pickled onions and I did not can these because we'll go through these quick enough that they don't have to be preserved for putting up on the shelf. This is squash and onions and this is also squash and onions and again we didn't water bath, we didn't water bath can these because we'll go through them really quickly. And then this is some more onion rings but just in this brine. And so one of the things that I liked about the squash and onion brine that's in the Ball Home Preserving Cookbook, which if you don't have this and you're interested in canning, I think you would really enjoy having it, is this brine had the dry mustard and the turmeric and the ginger. And this is just more traditional vinegar water and sugar mixture. And then we have the rest of the onions in uh, two cup size freezer bags. And I like to pack them flat and then just stack them vertically. I think they take up less space in the freezer that way. But we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, two cup freezer bags of onions that we can eat off. In addition to the three quarts here, the pint jar, this was probably at this point eight pounds of onions and four pounds of onions. So anyways, we hope that you enjoyed this video and we love getting to do this for you guys. You make it so much fun. So thank you for all your support. We love your comments and we will see you next week.